family. I'm your host, Cheyenne, and I'm so excited to welcome you back to video six. In this video, it's time to add some more flair and pop to our game. We'll learn how to create banners for each new level and even add sounds and background music. We'll also be building out level five, the return of the wild, and level six, the ocean blue of our obby. First things first, let's build the level five floor. Copy the floor from level four and paste it where you want your level to start. Rename the floor to level five forest, then change the color in the property screen to green. Next, let's build the level six floor. Copy the green floor from level five and paste it next to level five. Rename the floor to Level 6 Ocean, then change the color of the floor to a deep blue. Even though the ocean is clean and blue, let's still add a kill script if someone touches the water because the ocean is too deep to swim in. All I'm going to do is copy and paste the kill script from our previously created lava spinner into our Level 6 Ocean. Hey, there we go. We've begun building both level five and six. You're a natural at this. Look at you killing it. Now, I'll add banners to our checkpoints that congratulate our game's players on making it to the next level. Hey. Woo, oh my gosh. Wow, I definitely wasn't expecting all that. We can also use our banner to inform them about the next level. It's our way of giving them a little sneak peek of what they're about to encounter next and to encourage them to keep going. Our game is kind of a marathon and we've made some levels extra challenging. So they're gonna need all the encouragement they can get. To add the banner, go to the marketplace and search for text banner. Let's place the banner over our level one checkpoint. Rename the object Banner 1 in your Explorer. I'm going to change the banner color in my property screen to green and the transparency to zero. Next, I want to add text saying, congrats on passing level one. You are now gifted with a super jump power up. You can put in your own personal message for your player. This is another way to keep the player engaged in the game. Go to the banner one object in the Explorer and open the part, then open the script. Change the say variable text to, congrats on passing level one, you're now gifted with a super jump power up or whatever your message is for the first label. And you're about to enter level two, the scarce forest. Go over to the property screen and scroll down to the text drop down menu. We can also change the font face to luckiest guy, style to bold, text color three to orange, text size to 14. We've just customized the text for our banner. Okay, I want to add another cool feature to my banner. I want the banner to be invisible at first. Then, when the avatar jumps on the checkpoint, the banner will appear above. It will be a big surprise for our player that way. See, look at me, I can be nice. Let's add another script tag to banner one and rename it to appear. Then, set your banner one object in the script to a local variable. From there, we can set our initial transparency and can collide properties to one and false. So the banner will be invisible and doesn't act as a wall. In our previous video, we made a disappear and appear function to set and toggle the block properties. This time, I want to make an on touched function that detects if the avatar touches the banner. Below the function, I want to connect the banner to the touched event. Now that we have our initial properties and functions set up, let's add the magic. 
we need to determine if the avatar has touched the banner or not. There is a built-in function that searches for an object called humanoid. That's the avatar. And it determines if the avatar touches a part or an object. Inside of our onTouched function, we can use a conditional called an if statement to see if our humanoid avatar comes in contact with the banner. If an avatar comes in contact with the banner, then the statement will run the code inside of it. If the avatar doesn't touch the banner, the code will not trigger. Now it's time to add the following code. The first thing we want to do is change the transparency property to zero. Press play to test out the new feature. The banner should be invisible at first, but then visible when the avatar runs into it. Huh? Did it work? Did it work? I already know it worked for you. I didn't even have to ask. Let's make the banner float above the checkpoint because we'll need our players to be able to see the banner. Can't have a message of positivity laying crumbled on the ground, am I right? Like, who's gonna see that? Search for floating script in the marketplace. The floating script comes with pre-made code from other Roblox creators. But let's break it down. We have two variables, depth and speed, to determine how far up or down the object moves and how fast we want the object to move. To move the banner, we can grab the coordinate frame from an object in the workspace. It is used to rotate and position 3D objects. A C frame contains global X, Y, and Z coordinates. Replacing either of the X, Y, and Z will determine the new position of the object like so. Because we're working smarter and not harder, like always, you can copy the floating script code and paste it inside the if statement of our onTouched function. Copy the depth and speed variables and paste it outside of the function. Now it's time to test out our new banner. Press play. Yay, it worked! Look at you. Okay, so now that we've added a banner, let's add another awesome feature to our obby. Sound. Sound makes the world of our video game that much more real. Think of watching an action movie without any sound effects. Weird, right? In video games, there are usually a ton of sound effects and music that matches the vibe of the game. So since we are game developers, we will make sure our game is just as awesome. Let's start small by adding sound to an object because baby steps, am I right? To do that, click the Marketplace tab and select Audio from the menu. Search for the sound you want. I want to add the sound of stepping through grass. You can preview the sound you want to add and also change the length of it by clicking the button next to the search icon. You can click insert and the sound will be added to your workspace. Drag the sound to your desired object. I want to add the sound to my level two grass. Go to the property screen below the explorer and make sure to click looped and playing so that your sound will run when you interact with the object. Now guess what I'm gonna say? Guess what I'm gonna say? Press play. You can add sounds all throughout your game, okay? So go crazy, pop off, I'm mean, like, do you. Alrighty, we took a baby step, but now it's time to take a giant leap, okay? It's okay, don't panic, I got you. Let's add music to the background of our game. To do that, we'll go to the marketplace again and select the audio from the drop-down menu. Select the music tab. From there, you can choose from various genres of music. Click insert and the music file will be added to your workspace. Make sure the music clip is added to the top level of your workspace and not inserted within an object or part. Also make sure to click looped and playing on your property screen. Guess what we're gonna do now? Guess what we're gonna do now? You already know. Press play. Ooh, I love this song. Get it, get it. Now, let's add a banner to the checkpoints for the remaining levels. Level one, the polluted city. Level two, the scarce forest. 
Level three, the contaminated ocean. Level four, the city of the future. Level five, the return of the wild. And level six, the ocean blue. I know we just began our work a few videos ago, but we just added banners, sound, and music to our obby. I mean, it's given advanced game design at this point. I'm just saying, not to toot my own horn, but toot toot. If you can do this now, imagine what you'll be able to build with more time and practice. Alrighty fam, we've come to the end of our video, but it ain't over yet. Please come back next time for video seven where we will finally finish up the last levels of our obby and learn how to make a winner's stage. It's gonna be lit, so you won't wanna miss it. Until next time, game on fam.